finally about time we're doing I some know, welding on this porsche something crazy just happened man dude. it just flew out off the stand dude kind of sucks but it cracked all right so before today's video gets started i do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor seat geek just like goon squad seat geek is 100 percent legit and with over 28 million downloads seat geek is the number one rated ticketing app there are more than 70,000 events every single day on seat geek including concerts sports festivals and more and you already know we're going to be hitting up that kane brown concert on friday march 31st for the most amazing deal ever and of course, Kane Brown is a good old Chattanooga boy just like us, so you're definitely going to catch us there. With the NBA season tipping off, playoff baseball underway, and the NFL in full swing, you're not going to want to miss out. Plus, artists like Dave Matthews Band, Billy Joel, Bruce Springsteen, Fish, and Luke Holmes are on tour. And guys, SeatGeek always wants to make sure that you're getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Also, every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return the tickets ahead of the event with swap. And you already know I came through for you guys, so definitely be sure to use the code GOONSQUAD to get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code GOONSQUAD, so definitely be sure to click the link down below to download the app. Click that sucker. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad garage, and today's the day that we're finally fully back on our Porsche 911 rebuild right here with a GT2 RS kit. And if you guys don't remember, the way that we got this sucker was completely destroyed. It was rolled over. We even rolled it over one more time on this top just to make sure that it was good. And then we rolled it back, and to see it like this is just absolutely amazing. And of course, there was a huge pause because the GT2 RS kit took like a couple of months to get, but now it's finally here, and now we got the whole entire garage cleaned up the whole entire environment it's ready to just focus on this and get this sucker finished up within the next couple of weeks dude dude it's exciting stuff i mean we got everything well um, body wise so we can go ahead and once frame is done paint this whole entire thing and start piecing exactly. it together and dude. today's the day that v-tuned is actually going to come out we're going to start doing the final framework there might be a little bit more pulling just to make sure all the gaps are just precise and perfect a lot of cutting and also a lot of welding so yeah a lot of exciting stuff yes, let's just sir. put it that way we're right just there. excited to be back on this porsche exactly man. man it's gonna look super beautiful all that miami blue oh yes, my sir. goodness man i just cannot wait for you guys to see the final result but anyways while we wait wait while we wait on v tune we will wait <laughs> we will wait on v tune we still got a bunch of uh, body work that we want to do to this door we want to just go ahead take care of that sand it and prime it that way we can get that out of the way so i say we go ahead bring in some tools and get some work done Alrighty guys, so we are moving right along with this Porsche right here and that door is basically done. It's completely sanded down. All that's really left to be done is just to be waxed and greased, removed and primed, but we're gonna save that for a little bit later. But check out this apparatus right here. So while LSR was sanding, he was like, man, we need to collect this dust somehow. And 
He looked it up into Google and Harbor Freight popped up this big old, basically vacuum cleaner on steroids right here. It's pretty powerful and you can just use it for all sorts of stuff. And it doesn't like take out all the particles out of the air, but it greatly reduces them, which is just awesome right here. Definitely gonna have to figure out like how we wanna set it up. Maybe even build a paint booth out of this thing. You never know. All you need is some suction and some blow. So we might think of something. You know how we like to do that, but there's a door right here. But that's not, that's it. We're, we're, we're done with body work. Look who arrived. We got V tuned in the building. On, bro. Man, we left off on a bad note, kind of. You said that yeah, yourself. Yeah, kind of just, you know, it was just in the middle of the process because we didn't have the bumper, we didn't have the tailgate, nothing. We didn't have nothing, but you know what? We have all the parts. Man, it took like a couple of months for the parts to arrive, and they're finally in. And um, I think we're ready. What are we, where are we going to start, basically? That's I what no I want to know. I think, I think we need to start with the roof. We got one more bar that we got to cut off of the parts oh, yeah, car over right. there. And that's pretty much it. So one bar right there. And then I guess we're going to start lining a few things and hopefully start making some cuts. Making dude. some cuts. And we're going to set up the welder. Also, we got an HTP welder that you know how to. I don't even know how to set up yeah, that welder. Yeah, HTP welder. I mean, that's what I use all the time. Is, is it aluminum and a, yeah, a it does actually steel? aluminum, TIG. Wow. It does everything. It's dude, a sweet V-Tuned is here with a full package. I know he's got some goodies in that book bag too man Sorry. we're not going to show you guys though but we are ready to work we're super excited to have v tuned out here this is the man with a plan he's going to line all those gaps up perfectly so let's just go ahead and not waste any time get straight to work So we went ahead and did some measurements on this top pillar right here and it turns out this pillar is a little bit low and i'm guessing this is where i remember we were pulling this side out because this side was i'm pretty sure this was the more damage area wasn't yeah, it yeah definitely this whole entire side was smacked yeah, the right here side was a bit plus worse. we did a little bit more damage because we rolled it on this top yeah had to this do guy it. right here <laughs> had to do it <laughs> We, we thought it was a great idea at the time. We're but like, I mean, it probably didn't do no damage. Maybe like a little bit because the car was already crazy. You guys heard it here right here. The frame man <laughs> himself said it. Said it. Yeah. But so this, it needs to get pulled up, right? How do yeah, we do that? Yeah, basically we're going to pull this side up. We have all the attachments. I remember we did a little bowling, but we pulled it over, which mm -hmm. it needed it. Now it needs to go up a little bit because it's sitting a little low. You can kind of see up over there. And then this rear, the rear bar is also... We went ahead and compared the rear bar to the new one, and this one's perfectly flat. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be, it's supposed to be rounded. Yep. Which makes sense because we put it on its top. Yeah. So and, we, we and it was already rolled over, so it probably got hit really hard because if we once we threw that roof on there, it the roof is like curved, but this is like flat right here. Yeah. So it's just one thing at a time here, you know. We're moving as fast you as we can. Have rolled it down the hill. It would have been. Ooh. Would have been nice. Then you just rolled it out of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, we removed both of those bars right there, and we're gonna change both of them bars over yeah, here. Yeah, right? that's the best on. option because I mean you could try to straighten this, but. It's best to have that OEM bin, exactly. right?
look at that rumble. Just hear that rumble dude, right there, sounds dude. sounds so beautiful. It looks really good at night with those tail wow. lights, dude. That Next to that good. TRX, dude. Yes, sir. Let me get a little closer look out there right quick. Can't, can't get better than that, dude. I know, man. It's such a good sound, and it's just nice and cold outside. Everything just, like, runs. I feel like everything runs better and when it's cold. cold, dude, 100%. Because it gets that cold air. It's that cold air, and the engine loves cold weather. Even though that thing is not naturally aspirated, not boosted. It still needs that cold air, dude. It does. But anyways, let's quickly go over what V-Tune did first before we get to that door. And he just did, like, some minor pulls, right? Well, minor pulls, first thing, we took off those two main rails that hold the whole roof. We made sure those were perfectly straight. Got all the measurements. He threw those on there, seen that. Was, the roof was off a little bit so he pulled that part up and this part over over here and we're lining everything up everything is already looking really good and uh, i mean that's pretty much it all we got to do tomorrow is buy a bunch of these vice grips or clamps whatever you want to call them and start lining things up left yes, and right sir. And hopefully that's... we'll start cutting and welding yeah dude. a very busy very exciting day tomorrow can't wait to get all that done this stuff is actually a lot easier than i thought it's yeah. just like you really got to just make sure you get those measurements down yeah and we did the main pulls when we when he first came out here like with the suspension and that shock tower he got all that out perfectly so this is the easy stuff now, easy dude. stuff man i'm just i don't know why i'm just so so excited yeah, for this dude. build right here Man, it's just been a really good day, honestly, just working on this thing and just being fully back onto it. I can't wait to actually start welding in the quarter panels and stuff like that. That's when this thing is going to start coming together and showing its true dude. Porsche identity, Yes, dude. I can't wait to get this sucker on the ground, yeah, you know? it's been forever, This dude. thing looks like a monster truck up there, dude. Once it sits on the ground, it's, it's a whole different it animal, man. It too. Don't this thing have uh, yeah, lowering springs lowering on Lowering springs. So this thing sits real yes, nice. Yes, sir. It sure does. But anyways, in the meantime, while V-Tune was pulling, you were working on this door right here, just getting every little detail, like, knocked out, made sure it was perfect. Yep. And we, how much primer did we throw on dude, it, dude? Thick layer. Like, three coats, which wow. three very thick coats, because I want this door to be perfect. Perfect. There is a few little things I have noticed, like that. Um, what do you call fish that? eyes? That fish eyes, where I use that platinum body filler. Yes. The, the what do you glazing call it? putty? The glazing putty. Yeah. There's fish eyes that came out of there. I don't know if I didn't let it dry fully, or maybe it soaked in some of that uh, primer. You know what I mean? But you do have a solution. I do have a solution. My solution is to probably dry sand this primer, give it a nice dry, just basically blocking it out like a big piece of bodywork, and then I'll probably spray another coat of primer and do the final wet sand. Yeah, because we want this paint job to be the best paint job dude, ever dude 100 percent agree on that dude we want it to be flawless and dude. that's exactly what we're gonna get i guarantee it but as of right now it's already super late a lot of progress was done what do you say dude hey, tomorrow we're gonna hop out here in the morning and start finish, finishing up the framework Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and while we waited on VTune this morning, we got to work on this fender and something crazy just happened, Man, dude. it just flew out off the stand, dude. Kinda sucks, but it cracked the fender, oh dude. Oh my goodness, yes. this right here is I think like for the two fenders, it's like $6,000, kinda expensive. But you know what? You're able to fix it. So no worries, but it's just putting us back probably a couple of hours, Yeah, right? just a couple hours. But you know what? While y'all are doing framework, I guess I'll just finish these fenders up. And the reason why we're sanding them is because this stuff are, they're basically primed in like some super thick primer, but you still want to straighten it up. That way you get a nice like OEM finish. look finish. That yeah. is right right there. So no worries right there. V-Tuned is out here though. And we got you all the stuff that you wanted yesterday. You asked us to grab some weld through primer. We got some really good stuff. Look at this copper weld. I've never seen that right there. Oh, cool. Got you panel bond. Got you all the vice grips that you need. That's a little bit too nice much. Ones. Ain't it? Yes, no, that's enough. Sir. That's perfect, really. So today, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and start welding today. Is that right? 
Yeah, so pretty much we're gonna get everything prepped. We're gonna weld in the top pieces and go ahead and start putting on the quarter panel and start lining everything up. Yes, sir. And hopefully we'll be able to weld it in today. guys this is my very first time ever welding right here we got the HTP welder this is how easy it is Ben already set everything up and let me give it a shot Woo, look at that dang nice what could I have done different right there uh well you see you're just going one nice pass you're not really moving it I'm trying to make them pretty you know that's what welding is about go ahead it. show me yeah. how it's done I think you're supposed to go a lot wider but I gotta say dude that's supposed pretty to do, fun you're supposed to do half moons Time's up. I just, Whoa. I just love that you're about to see that hey. You can't do that right there. But anyways, you went ahead and first off, we cleaned up and prepped those bars. They're almost ready to be welded in. And then you went ahead and quickly set up this HTP welder right here, which this thing is a beast. Yeah, it's really easy. It's really to... simple to set up, right? Oh yeah, I mean, all we did was uh, put the steel wire in there and then just set it up on the settings. You just basically put it we're, we're using argon and I think it's, yeah, it's argon and carbon dioxide. So we just set it up right there, one dial and you're ready to go. Dude, that is awesome right there. And of course you're working on that other fender while we're, while we're working on this right here. But what do you say? Is it time to weld those bars in right now? Yeah, dude? we're gonna go ahead and grab those bars and go ahead and clamp them in, get everything lined up and get them welded in. So finally about time we're doing I some know, welding on this Porsche. And then after that, I think we're gonna move on to the quarter panels, right? We're gonna work on one of the quarter panels. That'd be nice to at least get one of the quarter panels tacked in, but let's then, just keep then go we're ahead. gonna flip some burgers. Then we're gonna flip some patties <laughs> and put some dang sauce on it. You already know. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. I mean, this has been going on for hours and hours and hours and really, the only thing that we got accomplished is those bars up top got completely welded in. And I think it's because V-Tune is just getting distracted by all these other bills right here. He's just trying to go drive him. So He's trying to see him. I mean, I He's trying drive, to steal ideas. I wanna drive that green car. You wanna drive the green car right there? The he spaceship. Already, <laughs> yeah, the spaceship right there. He already drove the 67 Camaro. So we're having a lot of fun, but this right here has gotta be precise. It's gotta be on point. That's exactly what he's doing. We got all the measurements on the roof, fully like 100% and also it's tacked in. And then there was a little kink in this uh, quarter panel area right here. So we straightened that out. Now we're test fitting this quarter panel. And I think in the very next video, we're finally gonna have these quarter panels welded on. What do you say, V-Tune? Is it gonna happen? Yeah, I think the next video we'll have it on. Cause I mean, I, I didn't really come that early today cause I had to take yeah. care of some other stuff at my shop. 
But we got all that knocked out, so tomorrow I'm free to come in straight from the morning. Hey, we'll probably have them both welded on. At awesome. least have this side welded up, maybe tacked on real nice, get the doors fitting up good, get the bumpers fitting up, make sure everything lines up perfectly. And we can go ahead and do our cuts right here and make our backing panels so we'll have it maybe 100% ready to weld. Tomorrow. Awesome. That sounds like a plan right there. But guys, you guys are going to have to stay tuned. Make sure your post notifications are on. Can't wait to have this sucker completely welded up. Start doing the body work. Start getting this sucker one color. It's just going to be absolutely insane. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Definitely be sure to drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.